And another thing, man, a lot of y'all want to be so tall. Just wait till your clothes stop fitting or if somebody break in your house and you can't hide because you're too big. <laughs> I used to get the pick when I was young. Me too. Yeah. Now I do it for my son. Everybody be having me like I'm the one. You will, nigga. No strap, don't get it done. Yeah. Double back, but bring a ton. Catch him lacking, we gon' punish him. Sold him one, but yeah, I run it too. What's good YouTube man, it's your boy Prodigy and today I'm back with a brand new video and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about something I've been getting asked for years now and I've been putting it off because I keep forgetting to do it but today that ends. Today I'm gonna tell you guys about my growth story, my growth spurt story, how I got taller, things that I did and yeah we're gonna go from there. Now right now if you're watching this today is February 9th 2020. I'm 21 years old, okay? I was born December 2nd, 1998. I'm 21 years old, and I stand at about probably 6'6", six, six, and I do not believe I'm done growing, to be completely honest with you. Who knows? Now, I graduated high school at 17 years old. I started college at 17 years old. I skipped the grade. I was supposed to be a class of 2017 graduate, but I graduated class of 2016. So keep this in mind. I'm, I'm basically a year behind everyone in my grade. In eighth grade, I was five foot seven. Okay. Now to describe kind of how I was built, I was a very, very chunky kid. If I could find any sort of picture, I'll put it up on the screen. But I was five seven with the low cut. I looked like Lil Bill in his prime, but I was fat. So I'm five seven. I don't play any sports. I literally just play Call of Duty all day. And I never really had plans on being an athlete. I played organized football one year before that. I was a dog, first of all, but then I stopped playing and yeah. So over the summer, from eighth grade to freshman year, I hit my first major growth spurt. The first day I stepped into my high school, I was 6'1". So five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, six foot, seven, six, one. I know we ain't gonna count the five, seven. So that's a six inch difference in about three months. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When it comes to height, there's things you can do, but at the end of the day, if the Lord above don't want you to be a certain height, it's not gonna happen for you. Now, I know what you guys are probably wondering, you know, how tall is your family? How tall is your mom, dad, whoop de whoop? I'm gonna let you guys know. Every single person in my immediate family, my sister, my father, my mother, are all just about the same height. They're all in the 5'10", 5'11 range, okay? My dad's about 5'11", mom's like 5'10", 5'11", sister's like 5'10", 5'11". They're all about the same height, and then there's me. So I go from being the midget Mac of the family to over the summer, now I'm the tallest in the household. Now for my dad, he's about average height. My mom and sister, 5'11", for females, is pretty tall, okay? But keep this in mind, I went from 5'7", to 6'1". Now, one thing about myself, I'll tell you guys the things I did in order to try to get taller, but I'm being honest with you. One thing about myself, I just so happen to be a consistent grower. You know what I mean? Typically, everyone, they hit a certain growth spurt, and a lot of people plateau. But over the course of my life, I've always been consistent. Okay, so my freshman year, I think I tried out for the basketball team, but I couldn't go to the second day of tryout, so I wasn't able to be on the team, so I didn't play any sports my freshman year. The reason I'm telling you about my athletic history is because I also believe being an athlete kind of kind of helped me out a little bit. So my sophomore year is when I finally started getting into athletics. I played football and I wrestled, okay? Now, I went from my freshman year, I was probably 6'1", maybe 280. Once again, I was built like a penguin, okay? 6'1 is not tall to me at all. And the way that I was built, it was no bueno. But I started to play sports, I slimmed down. And I truly believe if you're in good shape, it helps you grow. I'm not saying this is a proven fact, but that's just what I believe personally. So I go from 6'1 my freshman year to about 6'3 my sophomore year. So mind you, I graduated high school at 17. I believe my sophomore year of high school, I might have been at the time 13, maybe 14, something like that. I'm gonna say 14. Most people when they're sophomores are 15, 16. I think I was 14. I was about 6'3", probably 200, 
10 pounds, okay? Now at this point, I'm starting to play football. I'm starting to realize I wanna go to the league. Now at this point, when it finally clicks and there's things that you're passionate about, you do all the research in the world to help you. I'm playing offensive line, I'm 6'3". I'm like, I wanna be taller. So I'm how to get taller. The same thing most of y'all are doing, especially who am I watching this video. And a lot of things I saw, I started to do. First thing was you need to get at least eight hours of sleep. I get up at around five, 6 a.m. every day because I like to work out that early. I'm typically sleep at nine, 9.30, sometimes I go to sleep at seven. I'm young, you know, I'm, I'm young, I'm pretty, but I got the mind of like a 55 year old, I'm telling you. You can probably see it in the way I carry myself when I'm not goofy. The things that I say, kind of the wisdom I carry. I'm, you wouldn't think I'm 21 by the way I act, but I'd be going to sleep at like eight o'clock. <laughs> but anyways, they say you need to get enough sleep. You need to stretch, which I used to do religiously. I also was believe in the rumor at the time that you know milk is good for you strong bonds first of all milk's really not good for you but i used to drink a lot of milk so i got a lot of sleep drunk a lot of milk drunk a lot of water and i did a lot of stretching now you know stretching when you wake up before you go to bed is crucial just think about that if your body's always kind of stuck and it's not loose your body will never grow you know what i mean you have to get it loose get it ready to move and then hopefully, you know, it'll start growing for you in the sleep. If you get what I'm trying to say. If you're all balled up, you have no room to grow. You get what I'm saying? And also, I saw some of the things that so-called prevented your growth, such as, you know, coffee. I, I never drunk a lick, a lick of coffee when I was in high school because I was so adamant about getting to a certain height. You know what I mean? And obviously, you guys know me. I stayed away from all the drugs, all the alcohol. That stuff, I never heard that it stunts your growth, but I'm just telling you, I was very, very adamant about not holding myself back to growing. There's a lot of sacrifices people don't make. Most of you guys in high school, y'all stay up till three in the morning playing the game or y'all don't stretch at all and that type of stuff. I wasn't having none of that. So my sophomore year is over. We go to junior year. I go from about 6'2", 6'3", to about 6'4", 6'5", right? So keep this in mind, I went from 6'1", my freshman year, to about 6'4"-ish, my junior year. So I'm growing very consistently. I'm sticking to the same script. Now, like I said, my family, they're all about average height, except for the females. They're pretty tall, 5'11", for a girl is, is pretty tall. I'm well aware of that. Nobody, I'm the tallest person in my family, to, to my knowledge, by far. But I just kept staying consistent. Now, like I said, a lot of the things that, you know, you do only do so much, but you really can't control the outcome of how tall you become. No, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. So at this point, my junior year, I'm still an athlete. I'm in great shape. I mean, I'm getting bigger, stronger, faster. And now we get to my senior year. I'm about probably 6'5 at this point, probably about 285, 290. I'm probably in the best shape I had ever been in at the time because I was hitting away so hard. I was so focused on going D1, all these things that I, I ended up accomplishing for those of you that don't know. But everything was falling into place. Everything I did was working. I was growing consistently. So I graduate high school, I'm 17 years old. I'm about 6'5", and I used to have really, you guys remember the old haircut I had. Instead of all around, I just had the fade and it was up. When I graduated, my hair was like up here. So I probably, with my hair, was probably like 6'7". I ain't gonna lie to you, but we're not gonna count the hair. Then I went to college and I still continue growing. I got to about 6'6". And to be honest, once you hit a certain height, I really stopped caring about how tall I am, to be honest with you. You know, I, any room I walk in, I'm typically the tallest. Anybody I meet, I'm typically taller than them, but I never really care. Once you get to a certain height, you don't really care about your height anymore, to be honest with you. But uh, that was my growth spurt story, my height story. That is what I did to get taller. You know what I mean? I gave you guys some tips and tricks. And I just told you guys, you know, from my perspective, how it went for me. Now, will everything go that way for you? Probably not, but you guys are not me. You know what I mean? You guys just want to hear my perspective and I gave it to you. One thing is for sure, don't get your hopes up. What you lack in height, I guarantee you have an abundance of and something else. And another thing, man, a lot of y'all want to be so tall, just wait till your clothes stop fitting or if somebody break in your house and you can't hide because you're too big. <laughs> I'm gonna get up out this thing, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Leave comments down below what you want to see next, man. It's your boy IB. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.